There's a lot of misinformation floating around about the operation that killed Osama bin Laden yesterday, so we will set the record straight this evening. Hello, and welcome to the show. This is rap news with that juice it's essential to know. When wild journalists claim to be first with the news, we prefer to learn, discern, and turn up first with the truth. So without further ado, we're starting by charting the alleged last gasp of Osama bin Laden. We ask the tough question most pundits are dodging. What happened in our Rinder Butter Laden that morning? And joining us, regular guests on the news feed, the Pentagon's General Baxter and Terence Moonsey. Gentlemen, welcome. We'll begin with you, General. How's the general atmosphere? There at the Pentagon. Incredible. This is just an enviable victory. The USA has made an indelible entry in history. A decade since 9 11, we found Bin Laden and got justice for the 3,000 Americans that died then. His crime and infamy have been erased and healed, framed and sealed thanks to the bravery of the US Navy SEALs. Way to kill. Tell us how it went down. The actual sequence. SEAL Team 6 hit the compound. It was battle stations. They found Osama armed with an Islamic ray gun. Shot him in the face and. What's that? No ray gun? Oh, well. Then he used his wife as a human shield and. What? That didn't happen either? Okay, well then they shot him and took pic- No, took no pictures and buried him according to Islamic scriptures in the sea? Yes, in the sea! And the president was or was not watching the live feed. An extraterritorial hit? The world's in our grip. Now our jurisdiction extends over all of it. So who's next for shock and awesome judgment? Ahmadinejad, Alakawi, Assange were coming. Was Osama worth it? Yeah, it was worth it. We only lost 6,000 more Americans to murk him. But I didn't like how we he tweeted his corpse. He's no hero, and a hang drawer and courted him at ground zero. Where the 19 hijackers. Lies, Baxter, there were no hijackers, it was a demolition. A Reichstag on the Twin Towers by the Twin Powers of Bush and Cheney. Bin Laden wasn't in charge of pushing planes in. In fact, the planes didn't even exist. They were blue beam holograms projected to increase the mist. Plead the fifth, but thermite dust sits on the curb, and building seven is evidence that it's so absurd. You internet nerd, Osama did Distressed it. Distrust every word. This is our finest hour. Justice has been served. Justice? General, that's an interesting word to choose. We're a nation of laws. What other word would you use? Assassination? Slaughter? He's a legitimate military target, a murderer! But what about the precedent set at Nuremberg? Nuremberg? What? After the Holocaust and six million dead, America stayed the hand of vengeance, and instead, Nazi leaders were rounded up and tortured? Uh, no. What reported? Hired by NASA? No. Brought to court to be tried for crimes against humanity, then executed. What a tragedy, please, you're a fact. Don't history lesson me, don't you get it? The truth sign of a supremacy is who gets to decide at each given minute when the rule of law is applied and when it's suspended. You can't spell justice without the US and it's called justice cause it's just us that's justified in judging. Just cause, just wars and just evidence. Just test this justice and get justice if you mess with us and end up at the bottom of the ocean like Bin Laden. Well, Osama isn't dead or if he is he died in 2000. This thing's rotten, no death certificate of public evidence man. He's probably kicking back on an island on a CIA pension plan. What a hippie. Or get double tapped like Geronimo. That reminds me, why this codename, Geronimo? Geronimo? That's Osama's codename? Let the truth be known, this reeks of the masons and the skull and bones. It's a secret society of elite Yale students who stole the skull of the Apache chief and they use it in occult dark rituals like pagan druids worshipping Satan, Lucifer, Cain and Judas. The truth is, they're the ones who owned Osama and got the Pharaoh plasma to clone Obama. They're ruthless, they planned this end game to coincide with the May Day pagan festival of Beltane. A fertility Ritual with blood sacrifice and Adolf Hitler's suicide dates match precise. That's a device to pledge and bow to the true rulers of the earth and renew the wedding vows. That's why Obama harpooned Japan, creating waves to hit him. And Prince Rotillion was married to Satan in the form of Kate Middleton. I ain't kidding with you when I'm yelling the truth. The Illuminati's on the throne. That's the real reason why they called Osama Geronimo. It's a perfectly good code name. What's wrong with you? I see many Native Americans consider it dishonorable to have their hero, ancestor, and leader associated with terrorism and Al Qaeda. It all seems like an appalling error. It wasn't an error. This right here is the war on terror, and it's a continuation of the 19th century campaign we had to waste to liberate the territory of the United States from the redskin savages who also hid in caves and kept on attacking us because they hated our civilized ways, our Christianity, whiteness, and slaves. Was the Apache defending their lands from the invasion of whites? They started it, Bob. Get your history right. Same with Al Qaeda. We didn't pick this fight, so you see. The Geronimo analogy is tight. All right, thank you both for your interesting views. Little wonder there's such confusion in the news when we can scarcely agree on historical narratives. Is there any mystery that 
we live in diverging realities. The tides of amnesia seem to be rising like the oceans, unchecked by mass media that is steadily corroding. More concerned with the rush to make headlines by five than helping us discern the facts from the lies. But there's a rival tide, an equal and opposite turn, a yearning to read between official lines that have blurred. I'm reassured by the many who were plainly disturbed and who questioned the way in which justice was served. If it was served, it can be served to us just the same. So what brand of justice do we want done in our name? Leaving you now with that thought in your mind, Robert Foster Produce Media, proud to ignore deadlines.